Hey, what's up everybody? It's Murph and welcome back to the Murph Hut. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to program a progress bar in Visual Studio. I'm going to be using Visual Studio Community 2015. Um, it should work with, or you should be able to work with some other code or uh, code editor, but this is easiest and uh, it's free. So uh, if you want to get it, there will be a link in the description down below. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a new project. What you're going to do is click File, New, Project, and it says Templates. Click on Visual C, Windows, and uh, anyways, you just want to see the Windows form application. Click on that, and then where it says Name, you can name this to whatever you would like. I'm just gonna be do. I'm just gonna do Progress Bar Testing. Press OK. Okay. So this is our form and this is what we're going to be adding all of our progress bar buttons and anything we want to do. Um, this is where it will be. You can adjust it using these little squares. I'm just going to make mine a little bit longer and uh, yeah, that's about good. Okay. Uh, next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add the progress bar. So to do that, you want to go to the left of your screen and see where it says Toolbox. It should be highlighted. Click on that. Next, you can scroll through these or you can type in search uh, to the search bar, I guess, uh, progress bar or just progress. Um, here is your progress bar. Drag that over to the form and let go. There we go. I'm just gonna extend that out. You can do whatever you would like to do with this. I like to make mine equal and symmetrical. Next, you want to add a timer. To do this, go to the toolbox once again. In the search bar, type in timer. Once again, drag and drop that timer. Sweet. Now let's add a button. To do this, go to the toolbox, go to the search bar, and type button. Drag and drop once again. You can resize this. If you'd like to change the text on the button, what you have to do is come down to the bottom right of your screen where it says properties. Scroll down to where it says text and button one. You can change that now. For me, I'm just going to do begin. As you can see, the text is now changed. Now what you're going to want to do is double click on all of these things, the timer one, the begin button, and the progress bar. Do this one by at a time. Let's start off with the progress bar. Double click. Sweet. Now we're seeing our code. What we're going to want to do next is switch over back to the tab where it says design. Double click on the button. Once again, click on the Design tab. And then, lastly, double click on the timer. Sweet. Now all of our voids are set up and we are ready to program. As you can see, we have a progress bar, we have a button, and we have a timer. What we're going to want to first do is set what our button does. Assuming that the button is clicked, we'll tell it to uh, start the timer. get to spell it right. Okay, so this is timer one dot capital S start um, with two parentheses and then a semicolon. What this will do is it will start the timer as soon as the button is clicked. Sweet. Now that we have that done, we can start programming other parts of the program. This is, once again, uh, I should mention, this is in between the two curly brackets where the button one is is. So put that in between there. Now let's come in between the two curly brackets for the timer one. What we're going to want to do is tell what the, uh, the rate of change or the increments uh, that the progress bar goes by. So type in progress bar one dot increment 
10 or any value that you'd like. I would say anywhere from 1 to 10 is a good value. And then put a semicolon after that. This tells or describes the rate of change in the progress bar every second, I believe. So, um, now that we have that done, we are going to want to actually um, tell it when to stop and when to uh, complete um, the progress bar. So, if progress bar one dot value is equal equal sign 100, we can then begin. Um, do some semicolon or some curly brackets, and then that uh, click enter, it will make another set of curly brackets. So in between those new that new set of curly brackets, we want to type in some more code. So what we're going to do is we're going to say timer one stop with two parentheses and a semicolon after. Once that is complete, uh, we can start adding the next line of code. And uh, this is kind of where it gets to the point where you can actually start doing the own your own, uh, I guess, types of code. Um, so if you want to, you can do a message box. And uh, you can do message box dot show and parentheses, semi uh, quotes, and then whatever you'd like to say. So welcome. Dot, 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 dot. And then put a semicolon after that. What this will do is when the button is clicked, it'll start the timer. As soon as this timer is started, it we are, I guess we describe the increments of the progress bar, which is 10. And then we have this infinite loop or we have this if statement saying if progress bar one value is equal to 100, which is the maximum value that we have set, um, it will tell the timer to stop and we'll display a message box, a box saying welcome. As we can see, we do not have any errors, but we may see something when we be begin debugging. So to debug, we want to make sure that uh, we come over to this design tab. We want to make sure that everything looks all right. And uh, if it does, click the start button. There's a little play arrow. Just click that. It'll take a little bit. And uh, you'll see the output starts changing and your whole workspace starts changing. Here is form one. If you click begin, it will slowly add. As soon as it gets to 100%, it comes up with a message box saying welcome. Press OK, and uh, yeah, you have made a progress bar. Here is the code once again if you would like to see it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me if you guys like it or um, enjoy it. When I was going through YouTube, when I was uh, trying to make one of these for myself, I realized that there wasn't too many videos talking about this. So I decided to make my own video and uh, figure out how to do it by myself. And I think it worked out pretty good. Now, if you do want to mess around with it and start getting some designs or something like, uh, you can uh, start, I guess, like uh, messing around with it. So, um, if you wanted to, you can change the form one right here on the pop-up. You could say, you could change that where it says text and you could say blogging. Uh, it could be anything. Um, uh, you can change the color. You can change the icon. So, uh, you can actually go through your pictures and things like that. It's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um... Tell me if you guys want more of these videos because I think they're actually pretty cool. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.